Do you want your own top secret Onion website hosted privately on the Tor web browser? If so, then stay tuned on this video and I will show you how to create your own website like this that is only accessible through the Tor browser with its own .onion web address. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get you a server, whether it's going to be self-hosted or in the cloud, it doesn't matter. We're going to go through on the command line how to do this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Tor. And every time I install Tor, I always set up unattended, unattended upgrades first. And so I'm going to do apt update since this is a new server. Then I'm going to do apt get install unattended upgrades and app list changes. And now I'm going to nano the config file located at etsy slash app slash app dot config d 50 unattended upgrades. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first section off by doing control K. Then I'm going to make some room and then I'm going to add in these lines. This first set is going to tell it to look straight to the Tor project for updates. And the second line is going to tell it to automatically reboot when needed. So I'm going to do control X and yes to save. And now we're going to pseudo nano the auto, the auto upgrades config file. And we're going to add in a line to tell it to do auto clean. And we're going to add in a line for verbose and then we're going to save exit and at this point i'm going to do a dry run of limited upgrades in debug mode just to see if everything works right and if that ended without no errors then it successfully worked and so now we can install the prerequisites for tor which is app transfer for https and now we need to see what release of Ubuntu we're using. And I'm using Jammy. Yours may be different. And so now we need to add a Tor list underneath app sources list. And inside this file, we're going to paste this command here that I will have available in my video notes. And we are going to replace distro with the distro we just looked up, which for me was Jammy. Yours will probably say something different. I'm going to save this and exit. Then we will add the GPG key for the Tor project so that we know we can trust the updates coming from it. At this point, I always run apt update, apt upgrade, and then I will also do a reboot command. And if you see no errors on the related to the package list, then you know that everything's correct on the config file and the app sources list. Once everything comes up and you're able to log in again, now we're going to actually install Tor itself and we're going to include the Tor project ring key ring. That way it helps update their database as well. Now, the beautiful thing about Tor is that once you install it, it doesn't automatically start on its own. You have to do some configuration beforehand. So in this situation, since we're doing a website, before we start it, we first want to install a web server. Now, I'm going to use Apache 2 just as a personal preference, but these same settings would apply to NGIX, NGIX if you're using that. So I'm going to do apt install Apache 2. And it says it's working, so I'm going to verify by going to the web address. And I'm immediately greeted by the default Apache 2 web page. So now that we know that Apache is working, we're going to edit the Tor config file, which if you're using Linux, is going to be located on our Etsy slash Tor slash Tor RC. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for a line that starts with hidden resource or hidden service. I'm sorry. And we're going to uncommit the first line, which tells it to look under other hidden services directory for the config file for our website. And if you already have a website that you're wanting to configure to run off tour, you would change this path to there. For my example, I named my folder just hidden services. So I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to uncomment the line telling it which port to access, which is port 80 since it's a web server. Then we're going to save and exit. And now we'll do a simple system CTL. So in order for it to create the hostname field directory, you actually have to restart tour. So we're going to do system CTL restart tour even if it wasn't running previously. So now we have a hidden services directory. We change directory into hidden services. We have a host name. So we'll cat host name. And that's our super secret onion address currently. We'll copy it and go to the onion browser, paste it in, and there's our default Apache 2 page that we created. 
and if you're using an Onion browser, a Tor browser, you can use the IP address and it will go to the website as well. Now all this is a simple HTML document and so you can change that to make it say whatever you want to say. For example, I made a simple HTML portfolio at my own Onion server. Now that web address is pretty long and confusing. Now some people like to create their own vanity address for Onion and if you want to do that, there's this real simple tool out there you can use. A tool called MKP2240 and it's located on GitHub So you, and I'll put a link, of this, a link to this in my video notes so you can take a look at it and see if if you want to use this yourself and I'm going to use it here for an example and it's pretty simple we simply are going to install some prerequisites for it and then I'm going to go to my root and simply do a get clone of the repository and confirm that it's there and I'm going to change directory into it and there's all the contents from GitLab and so now we're going to actually build the app and it's simple running the autogen.sh file and they're going to going to run the config file and then we're simply going to tell it to make. So now we have an executable by the same name as the GitLab project and so we're going to run this executable and now we need to think of what we want the beginning of our vanity address to look at and I'm going to say tech time which is kind of long so this may take a while and we're going to add that v for verbose and dash n is where we specify the number of aliases we want it to come up with I'm going to tell it just one for time I'm going to tell it dash d for directory and I'm going to specify put it in my home directory and I'm going to call it in a folder called vanity onion key and you do dash t for thread key Count to tell it how many how much of your processor to use and I'm going to tell it just four and so now we're going to run that and it may take a while to do it because it's deciphering an onion address for one two three four five six characters so that's pretty long so it may take a while so since that was taking so long I shortened mine to just tech t c h four characters Let's see how long that and then that was instantly done. That is my super secret web address that it came up with. And right now it's located in my home directory under vanity on Inky. So now what we need to do is we need to copy recursively the vanity on a key. And we're gonna move everything from that alias that's inside that directory. So I'm gonna put an asterisk for everything and we're gonna move it to the hidden services file. Then we need to do a system CTL restart tour so that it will apply the new because with the new vanity onion key we have a new hosting file a new public key and a new secret key so now to see if it works we simply copy the vanity key and then go to a tour browser and open a new tab paste it in and there we go our new apache website is at our vanity address which started with tech so tech 7 and as you can see now under hidden services you have a new host name a public key and private key files and I personally have one that I created a while back that has just a temporary simple HTML HTML file as a portfolio for some of my job history in there and some of my experiences and it references my personal ITS tech time website and I'll put a link to my specific web address down below thank all y'all for joining be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you'll know when future videos comes out and please leave me a comment of what you like and don't like thank you guys